yes the enemy we had done up till the point like uh, hana and sadao you know they decide to take the enemy inside their house so what were the basic difficulties uh, regarding their action of taking him inside and treating him the first was that uh, it was an enemy it was a prisoner of war and uh, if these people would take him inside then they had their servants whom they were accountable whom they were answerable okay so the servants were there who might uh, report about this enemy in the house of dr sadao to the officials so then on the charges of traitor on being traitor they might be arrested but this, they took the risk and they brought this enemy inside their house so they did not bring the enemy they brought the patient inside but what was the uh, but what was that made hana and uh, dr sadao think like they were on the safer side their own uh, you know uh, their own you can say uh, decision they knew that if they would be treating the patient uh, after the after when the patient would be all right then they will hand him over to the officials so what was their decision like first they will come on children first they will treat the patient and after he would be all right then they will hand him over to the officials so this way dr sadao thought that he would be able to do his duty as a doctor and as well as a patriot also getting is this is the most important aspect in the story first dr sadao being a doctor and being a patriot basically what we do say always like we can do one thing at a time we have we must take a decision so when we take one decision then one thing is done usually but dr sadao kind of person those who people are very you know true to their job those who are true sincere they find a way out to do both of the things in a in a with 100% you know achievement he was able to do his best as a doctor and he was able to do his best as a yes as a abhinav as a patriot as a deshbhakt you know so this is what he did he did not he did not prove to be insincere to either his profession or to his duty as a countryman got it so he brought them brought the enemy inside when he brought him inside what was the difficulty he will be facing you tell what will be the difficulty inside the house servants servants will be the difficulty the servants will pose a question because you when you do something then the first thing you have to you must keep you must keep a secret from others is the first person from whom you must be you must keep your things confident are the people those who are servants okay you can rely upon your relations your son daughter husband wife you can rely upon but yes you must be very careful about the servants because they are professionally attached with you not personally okay in this story we will see that these servants are the ones who had been working in the house for the last many years from the times of dr sadao's father is that clear so you can say ma'am yes they were personally also attached yes they were personally also attached but when it comes to country then people and that is true also when it comes to our country's welfare we should forget every other thing no caste no religion no no difference country comes first okay so there is this is what the servants also did they were also right on their own accord okay dr sadao knew that he was sincere but how can somebody else know this right so point is like this question is uh, this chapter is a big comment upon uh, being dutiful how to be dutiful every person's duties are different okay what i might be doing that might be true for for me and what you do that might be true for you okay so let's see what happens now when they will bring him inside the house okay you will see like how servants will be posing a, a difficulty for dr sadao and hana 
in treating the patient. Now the question in front of us is like, will the servants, will the servants report the police? That's a question with us. Will the servants report the police? How can you say no? Have you read the chapter? Okay, if you've read the chapter, then it's okay. Will the servants report the police? They will, let's see whether they report or not. Second question is, will the servants uh, uh, stay with these people? Will the servants stay with Dr. Sadao to serve him forever? No, they will not stay with him. They will leave him. So instead of reporting the officials, they will decide to leave Dr. Sadao and Hana. Okay, if Dr. Sadao is uh, becoming traitor, they say like, why should we also become traitor? If you will be arrested tomorrow, then why should we also become? Why should we pose ourselves in, uh, you know, risk? Got it? So then next question will be, will Dr. Sadao treat, treat the enemy despite so many difficulties? The answer is yes. Then the next question in front of us will be, will Dr. Sadao report the officials about the enemy at his house when he will be recovered? He will. He will go to report and he will report. And the next question which we should ask is, will the officials, the official in the story is the general. Which general? The one who is already undergoing a treatment from Dr. Sadao. Got it? He is the highest official at this time. So when the doctor will inform him about the enemy at his house, will the general punish the doctor? No, he will not because the doctor is very important for him. Then will he kill the enemy? Yes, he will promise that he will kill the enemy. He will promise that he will send the assassins to kill the... Yes, that he will send the assassins to kill the enemy. Will he actually send the assassins? No, he will not send. Now the question is, why doesn't he send the assassins? Why doesn't he send the assassins to kill the enemy? Why will... Huh? Patriotism? Is it patriotism that you don't kill your enemy? Huh? Yeah, okay. Will the general kill the enemy? In the story, the answer will be no. He will not kill. Now the question is, why doesn't he kill? The answer is, we don't know. It is not given in the story. So it is our apprehension, it will be our opinion that maybe, yes, beta, listen. It's our opinion that maybe the general forgot about, about this enemy because of his own preoccupation with his own disease. Got it? So the general, the highest official, will he be that duty conscious? As duty conscious are the servants? As duty conscious is the doctor? As duty conscious is the wife of Dr. Sadao? So see the scenario, the highest official, who should have been very, very responsible, but he was selfish. But the very common citizens, yes, the very common citizens like the servants, who should have been very, very, you know, yes, Dhruv, come to the side. Right now, which point I am, you know, asserting upon? You tell better. Through this lecture, almost the whole story I have told you. Knowing the story is not very difficult. The more important thing is knowing what the writer is conveying. Inference is very important. So Abhina, what was the last point I was coming to? And the answer is, why won't the general kill the enemy? The point is, we don't know. It's not written in the story anywhere. Like, why doesn't the general kill the enemy? It's not written. Maybe he can, you know, better. In the story, it's not written. Now, what's the actual answer? We don't actually know, but it's only our apprehension, our guess, 
that he might have forgotten why would the general have forgotten these forgotten to kill the enemy second last girl stand up you yes hmm but why he might have forgotten because he is suffering from a very terrible disease and that disease is being cured by the doctor but what's the relation of his uh, forgetting to kill the enemy are you getting what she is saying so should the general be like this then why is he the general she says that he might have been under the uh, you know uh, under the effect of that medication he might have been drowsy and all so he might have forgotten to kill the enemy so is this kind of uh, does this kind of person deserve to be at that designation no number 1 he doesn't deserve to be there if still he is holding the designation despite his poor health it is his mistake it is his insincerity and secondly his forgetting this kind of thing is is about all about his number one being careless and secondly it is about his insincerity also it is also about his being selfish the point is sometimes even your chair doesn't make you responsible and many a times very common people very 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 common person can be as dutiful as one can expect the biggest example of sincerity are the servants okay they are true to their nation they didn't even bother to to leave the doctor they didn't even bother to leave the person with whom they had been working for the last 40 years they did not bother for their job they did not bother for the money they did not bother for the personal relations got it so what the servant said was that right yes 100% that was being beautiful because how can how can you say what is in the mind of somebody else we know that doctor was very right yes we know this but but how can the others make sure about it if your neighbor brings uh, enemy to you, to his house will you forget will you spare that uh, neighbor because that neighbor is your very good friend or will you leave the neighbor because the neighbor has brought an injured enemy at home you will not forget forgive forgive him it you cannot leave it just let it go okay so duty is something very very uh, it's a complicated topic sit down okay let's read now i'm on page number 30 hana considered this doubtfully and when she not and when she did not answer so thou turned away at any rate something must be done with him he said and first he must be washed he went quickly out of the room and hana came behind him she did not wish to be left alone with the white man he was the first she had seen since she left america and now he seemed to have nothing to do with those whom she had known there here was her enemy a menace living or dead so now they brought the him inside the house they made him lie in the room which was of dr sadao's room father's room since the death of dr sadao's father this room had never been opened and this was opened today and that also for the enemy so it's an ironic situation that the person i'm talking about dr sadao's father it's really ironic that the person who lived his life for the country the one who never ever uh, let any you know who never ever thought anything against his country who always taught his son to be patriotic that person in his room uh, after some after after some years of his death an enemy is brought in it's very ironic so what was the reason the enemy was brought in that is uh, that is something else okay so she turned to the nursery 
she turned to the nursery and called yumi so what is that now that uh, doc that patient is in the room first thing the doctor had to do was to wash him so who will wash dr sadao told uh, his wife that called yumi who is yumi one of the servants she is the nanny of her children okay so she takes care of the children basically yumi so dr sadao says like call yumi she will wash the patient but the children heard her voice and she had to go in for a moment and smile at them and play with the baby boy now nearly 3 months old so what kind of couple it was who had very small children sometimes it is people say like you can be dutiful when you have no one to look after when you are free from your life but these people were not free from life they were so busy they had such small children so when this woman which woman i am talking about ha huh? when hana went to call yumi at that time yumi was with her children so when she called yumi then she had to attend her children for a few minutes okay over the baby soft black hair she motioned with her mouth yumi come with me she went with yumi into the bedroom next to the nursery and stood with the boy in her arms while yumi spread the split, uh, sleeping quilts on the floor and laid the baby between them so they made the baby lie on the on the floor on the quilts then hana led the way quickly and softly to the kitchen the two servants were frightened at what their master had just told them so how many servants are there right till now till now how many servants are there one was yumi and two are more in the kitchen three are there so what did they know like did they know that uh, their their master had brought the enemy yes so what was their reaction they were frightened look at the text the old gardener who was also a house servant pulled the few hairs on his upper lip the old gardener pulled up his mustache what he said the master ought not to heal the wound of this white man the master ought not to heal the wound of this white man he said bluntly to hana who is a speaker gardener the gardener said like our master should not treat this enemy the white man ought to die first he was shot then the sea caught him and wounded him with his with her rocks and if the master heals what the gun did and what the sea did they will take revenge on us so what the uh, gardener said like now the arts our master should not treat the enemy because it is a person who was who was first injured by a bullet then he was more injured by the sea and now if our master will treat him then nature will take revenge right i will tell him what you say hana replied courteously so very politely hana said okay i'll convey your message to dr sadao so what does it show a very courteous woman who also knows how to talk to the servants but she herself was also frightened although she was not superstitious as the old man was so what does those, what do those words say about the gardener when he was saying that the nature will take revenge what does it was what does that show about the gardener that he is superstitious okay was hana also superstitious no why was she frightened frightened then so here it is written that hana was frightened why was she frightened hmm why was she frightened hmm she might have been uh, frightened because she knew that if now the servants if the servants will report to the officials or if the servants leave them then what will happen okay so the future outcome made her frightened the idea that what the servants can do that frightened her got it servants are not merely servants servants are the your secret are the store of your secret information okay okay i will tell him what you say hana replied courteously 
but she herself was also frightened although she was not superstitious as the old man was could it ever could could it ever be well to help an enemy nevertheless she told yumi to fetch the hot water and bring it to the room where the white man was so she asked yumi to bring hot water and bring it in the room where the enemy was got it through what did she ask yumi to do she asked her to bring hot water and keep it in the bring it in the room where the enemy was she went ahead and slid back the partitions so thou was not there yumi following put down her wooden bucket then she went over to the white man when she saw him her thick lips folded themselves into stubbornness i have never washed a white man she said and i will not wash so dirty a one now so what how did yumi respond to the order when she brought that bucket full of hot water when she saw that it was a white man that is an american she quick she just uh, refused bluntly to wash him on the pretext that she had never washed a white man and she very bluntly said like she will not wash so what does it show about yumi true to nation a patriot when it comes to country then nothing matters does nothing matters more more than that hana cried at her severely you will do what your master commands you there was so fierce a look of resistance upon yumi's drowned dull face that hana felt unreasonably afraid after all if the servants should report something that was not as it happened so hana was really scared at yumi's expression why was she afraid why was she afraid you tell so she was afraid because enemy was in their house hmm? she was afraid that the servants might inform the officials that's why she was afraid okay 